It happens every summer. I go to bed one night counting my sheep and wake up looking like I've been mauled by them. See? Not pretty. But instead of animal abuse, I've been the victim of botanical abuse. Yeah, a plant. Poison ivy. It's got a potent oil that makes me want to tear off my flesh and stuff it in a vat of Clorox. Which, as it turns out, isn't the worst idea. The internet turns up all sorts of home remedies, from bleach and gasoline to buttermilk and banana. Now granted, some of these seemed kind of risky. I mean, poison ivy is bad, but accidentally setting yourself on fire with gas is worse. Yeah, no, it's worse. But when I spoke to several doctors, they said that along with traditional medical treatment, some of these kitchen pantry remedies might provide safe relief, so long as you monitor skin for any adverse reactions. Now, this can get messy, so you might want to put down some newspaper. No, not the Wall Street Journal, because somebody might want to read that. Of course, the goal is to avoid getting these plants into your skin in the first place. Now, leaves of three, let them be. But if your dog likes to roll or someone in the house forgets to wash contaminated clothes, you can pick up the oil from them. First, remove oil fast. Do not wait to shower until you finish weed whacking or cutting up that last log. I learned this the hard way. Dishwashing liquid is designed to cut grease. And soaps like these may contain the plant jewelweed, which helps to clean skin or rubbing alcohol. Now this is probably in your bathroom and can wash away the oil. Same with gasoline, though none of the doctors recommended it, particularly for smokers. Once it's too late and blisters and red splotches appear, it's time to raid the kitchen. Baking soda can pull fluid out of weepy blisters and relieve the itch. Plus it feels kind of nice and cool. Doctors recommend soaking in oatmeal or tossing a couple of tea bags into the bathtub as well. I guess that's so you can have your breakfast and bathe in it too. Buttermilk compresses also got the thumbs up, unless of course you're allergic to milk. And yes, even bleach, highly diluted in a bath or a compress may help dry blisters and keep infection at bay. Of course, you're gonna smell like a laundromat, but hey, whatever works. Now finally, the weirdest treatments, banana peels. Now the doctors that I talked to said they had no clue except these are gooey and might feel good. Jury's out on that one and watermelon rind. Its moisture can help dry blisters. Who knew? And if all else fails, you can always make a nice fruit salad, minus the bleach, of course.